get out of here if you don't want spoilers. I'm still in Act 1, though, so... It's not, like, super late game or anything. I'm level 3, I think. Update the stream info, go grab myself something to drink while I play, I'll be right back. My in-game character almost looks like me. Well, I just made a character that looked hot. What can I say? It's not my fault. <laughs> um, Man, I have a short rest available too. So where we left off was I walked in here. We're in the Underdark. I walked in here. And there was a very large, frightening looking spider. And I decided to retreat and return another day. So that's what we're doing. Uh, I retreated with one of my characters to camp, so I guess the rest of my people should go to camp. Wait a second, can I just go to camp and not rest? What is this? Oh, I don't have to rest. Maybe. I mean, if I don't have to rest, I'm down to not rest. Initiative three. Well, now, uh, now I guess I have to leave. <laughs> this is actually kind of weird. Um, I guess I need to be sneaking when I leave camp. Because otherwise I'm stuck in this fight. Okay. Let us blood. No, no, prepare no. for bed. Well met. By which I mean, horny time. Tell me, Will, how did you come to be the Blade My of Frontier? said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the Cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out oh, from no. the farmstead. Oh no, not a I child. in the fields flanked by goblins. Wait, this is kind of fucked His up. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Okay. Goblins, pitiful vermin, easy to kill, hardly worth getting worked up about. Tell that to the boy shivering over his Will mother's disapprove. ravaged corpse. Man, it makes me angry to think about like it still. That. Angry at the monsters preying on innocents. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. 
Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. Aww. I've noticed your stone eye. The most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved you for lifetime friends. Will actually knows how to fight. Karma days. I feel like he's just a little like I don't know. Tiny grooved spider across the ice surface. Ooh. Resembles a sending stone used to confer with distant contacts. It's a spy. A sending stone. <laughs> Nothing so special. Someone I else is you. spying on him. His breathing quickens. His jaw tenses. Will is keeping something from you. Oh me. shit! A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds. Oh shit! Secrets half revealed. Difficulty class two. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Your right eye vibrates, and a woman's voice echoes in your head. I have a sweet tooth, and devils on the menu. Beyond the voice, you find only shadow. A piece of Will's mind locked away from intruders. Keep out of my mind. I told you, the eyes are rock, nothing more. And that's the end of it. I think it sends his, like, the stuff he's seeing to his demon. Because he's a warlock. Yeah. Another step forward. Why are they sometimes green and sometimes blue? Something the matter. Probably whether there's talking to be done. Um, why were you in pain before? We already asked her that. I need to ask her that again. I'm sure you do, but please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Wearing some Louis Vuitton? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Maybe some Cher? I don't know. I don't know who fashion designers are. Um, I have no problems with Cher worshippers. That's what concerns you. Minus one charisma. Nailed it. Stuck the one thing. <laughs> Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the night and lady of loss. I assume you've heard of her. Um Remind My me. My Lady Shah is the night singer. The patron of darkness and loss. Fascinating. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Ooh. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. All right, I don't really understand what the, any of that meant. It seems strangely comforting. There's comfort, yes. But often there has to be pain beforehand. We tear down the lies the world is drunk of. Oh my. The institutions I think I'm joining a cult. Trust, the so-called gods they worship. The lives they cling to. We destroy false idols. Topple corrupt organizations. Fight heretics wherever they're found. Praxis. There's often suffering. Death, even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths.
You should tell me more sometime. You're wiser than most. Many people balk at our doctrine. It's the reason why we cherish secrecy. We date ourselves. I think you can change into a different right character things. and then date yourself, Either maybe. Either you're very glib or we're kindred spirits. Maybe both know myself. But yes, once we've saved ourselves, we can talk more on this. The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Uh, what causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me. Punishing me. Testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Jorbs bless. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't it's think fine. so. But you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time. Is you she see hot? Me actually, everyone in the game is hot. Pass quickly enough. Even like it always does. the spiders are hot. Pain is sacred. It's an incredibly to hot game, Baldur's Shire. Gate. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. The rat was hot. The rat still is hot. I haven't finished the rat side quest yet. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. All right. Uh, I want to get to know you, you more. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you Ooh. ask? I thought we were going to get flirty. Disappointing. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Can we get a night orchid for her? It's a deal. No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memory suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage oh, to no. return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Of what course. is Shar's mission? It is an act of faith. Are we not overthrowing to be the global economy? Shar will reward me when I succeed. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. <laughs> what hair does she use? Um. I don't know. Oh, it's whether they're in my party or not, I think. The blues and greens. Yeah, that makes sense. Hi, Astarion. Need something? Your face just gets more and more covered in blood. Be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. I'm ending our fling. <laughs> you should have earned your respect. You so why are you so know, rude all the time? Vlekith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver, 
and my body steel. I am what I must be, say what I must be, to survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. What a honey. Do you know much about mind flares? I understand much beyond your comprehension. Hell yeah. Not to the point. I know the cure for our condition. Wonderful. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe. I bet they're all gonna be dead. Less. Just doesn't feel like. Yes, hmm. in great detail. Uh -oh. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out, and you Not bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. Trying <laughs> to suppress your rising that panic. Betrays your fear. Suppress it. It is useless. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. Yeah, Gail already told us all this, but I guess she doesn't started, know that. Though. That is what puzzles me. You're worried we haven't changed. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Very true. A good point. Go ahead. I'm listening. All right, let's rest. Party member is in danger and cannot rest right now. Oh my god, it's my cat. <laughs> it's my cat. The summoned creature cannot flee. All right, all right, we're good. What path lies before me? Are we resting or have to click on the fire? All right, we do this. Salami. 1d4 minus 1 bludgeoning damage. Better hold on to that. Sounds potentially useful. Whoa. That was worth 750 gold. between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Oh my. Shit. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> no, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. How long since you killed someone? Days? I've Hours? Well, not the food. I feed on animals. Bulls. Deer. Kobolds. Whatever I can get. It's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. Why don't you, um, why don't you feast on Gale? <laughs> why didn't you tell me? At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Mm. Thank you. 
Do you think you could trust me just... Am I about to become a thrall? I only need a taste. I swear. We're about to game over. We die to letting a vampire drink all of our blood. I mean... It's kind of really? hot. I... <laughs> of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? Oh. It's Holy like a shard of ice shit. into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Am I becoming a vampire? Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. Is this legal? In some places. Hmm? Oh, of course. That. That was amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks off, strong <sighs> and confident, ready to hunt. Okay, so bloodless feels a bit woozy. I just want to attack roll saving throws and most ability checks. Whoops. Ooh, scratch. <laughs> scratch is here. Oh my god, my smile. So joyous. Oh. Thought I could keep going. Uh, alright. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Well met. Exclamation mark. Good morning. How do you feel? I'm fine, just a little woozy. It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. You're not a true vampire? I'm from them, and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Is that how you could stand in the sun? Any other drawbacks I should know about? I have no idea. For 200 years, the sun would have turned me to cinders. Until the crash, when I woke up bathed in its light. Wait. How Someone, old are you? Or something wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Oh. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for the other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. I'm wandering into a home without an invitation is just a mundane activity now. You just do it all the time. Um, hmm. If I can help, just ask. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. Hey, Seth. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these 
revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. Oh shit, people are here. A vampire among us. So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowling. <laughs> <laughs> there now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Alright. Speak. What's on your mind? What do you make of having a we vampire have our in our camp? One way or the other. Well, good chat. All right. Um, so I'm going to make everybody sneak. And then I'm going to leave camp. Oh, we have a conversation to have with Shadowheart, but maybe we should not be in range of space spiders first. Let's go this way. Best be on my way. Maybe something up there? Ah, oh, the camera is so bad. Well, there is something over here. rich. This is how I'll make my fortune. Soul coins. I already read this one. Missives of Candle Deep. A select collection of the most notable letters sent from Candle Keep. Many are dry reports of celestial movements or incomprehensible details of arcane rituals. However, this letter catches your eye. To the Sage Elminster. Over the past year, I've delivered many of your letters to Master Gorion, so I wanted to be the one to deliver this sad news. Alas, he is with us no more. Gorion and his ward left Candlekeep soon after your last letter to him arrived. They departed in the middle of the night, but were waylaid shortly after on the road to Baragost. The Gate Warden tells me that Gorion saw to it that several of his attackers joined him in the next world before he was struck down. Hope this brings you the same grim comfort it brings me. Of his ward, there was no sign. In some better news, I received your letter to the library and was able to find much of the material you requested. It is being carefully secured and will travel with this letter. Yours in honor, Tristan T. Shale, librarian at Candlekeep. P.S. I hope you'll forgive my curiosity, but might I ask, why do you need so much information about Baal Spawn? What exactly are you working on? Bed roll? Nice. Tattered journal? A journal filled with hastily sketched diagrams of spiders and various spell runes. The captions are largely written in code, save for a few passages near the end that are penned in shaky common. He can sense my devotion. He draws them and hear them in the shadows, whispers from the dark mother. I woke to a gift ripped in spider silk. A pair of boots taken from a heretic's corpse. Lolth sends her daughters to reward my faith, to let me know I am on the right path. Another gift. The corpse of a drow, sigil scarred upon his face, an arachnomancer, one with the power to inhabit the spider's form. It is a message, a calling. My blood already dries upon the dagger, her blessed image carved into my skin. 
Just kind of normal stuff. Spider stop immune to being enwept. Those sound useful. I think we send these to Lazal. Staying out of sight. Nice. Open up. How's the game been so far? Very good. Very good. The stack of books doesn't have any books in it. An ornate diagram is drawn upon this parchment depicting a ritual of some kind. At the bottom, two figures, a spider and an elf, are sketched with an overlapping circles. A single word is penned beneath them, transcendent. A ritual, a spider, and an elf. Okay. Cool. Scroll of web, scroll of blindness, scroll of gaseous form. Scroll of dark. Oh. Oh. Cool. Uh, probably don't want to go down there. Chasm. What's left to do in here? That's the fight. I guess. I'm just headed back to the village I was clearing. I haven't checked out this yet, I don't think. Short sword, amethyst ring, a well bucket. What? You sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend? Might Are you kidding me? Take that nose. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. What is even happening? Authority. <laughs> Um, let's try again, shall we address me properly? I think we just rode a bucket up out of a well uh, all at the same time. And now we are about to be in combat with goblins. Yes! Yes, true soul! Oh, I'm the true soul. Your mind lurches, leaving suddenly as if bitten. Don't! Don't let me keep you, boss. Uh, lads were gathered by the windmill. I think I've killed them all already. Blighted village. So I came in here, cleared that and that, and then I went down here, and then I came up here. This is what's happening. And just orienting myself. There, these are the buildings where I killed everyone. There's a cellar that I am meant to look in right there. Where is that here? Huh. I haven't seen that game in years. All right. It's a waypoint. What happens if you click on them? Okay. When do we fight a slime boss in this game? Soon, I imagine. Apothecary's a ledger. Deliver specially requested plants to the cellar. Keep away from prying eyes. A cellar here somewhere. Okay. I don't see one. Extracts. The rule of three. A long-winded introduction explains that Huxin Zisellafin's notes, published as is from their work journal, have helped bring alchemy to the masses. It starts with a full history of the Dragonborn, who had been descaled as a teenager and started their alchemical research on hopes of restoring their hide. As the pages turn, it continues to wax poetic about how Zisellafin put aside their own research to help the common people. Much more interesting, though, are Zisellafin's actual research notes. 
I have decided. I shall make all my notes, both those written and those still to come, available to those who would wish to study. You, reading this text now, uh, is probably one such person. As enticing as potion making is, we shall first start with the most basic alchemical rule, the rule of three. Most ingredients can be found throughout Firun. However, they need to be refined to be any use in alchemy. Doing so is simple. Just combine three of the same ingredients and you will obtain an extract which can be used to brew potions, poisons, oils, and elixirs. So remember, three of the same ingredients make an extract. Or in rhyme form, if you like. When in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Thrice the same ingredient forms an extract excellent. Should stick to potion making. Um, alright. Very good. I don't know what's happening. Oh, I'm trying to jump. Looking forward to seeing why everyone's is so excited about the game, says American Heart Association. Very well. The Wonders of Phandalin. In this year, 950 DR, there can hardly be a more prosperous and fortunate town than Vandalin. Vandelver's Pact has brought prosperity to this land, splitting the wonders of Wave Echo Cave between gnomes and dwarves. The town now boasts thriving communities of both peoples living and working together in harmony. We've also tempted human spellweavers from all across the north of our town, who are happy to work side by side with the allies of Fandelver's Pact. Mayor Alderleaf invites you to come and witness this miracle yourself. See the powers being uncovered in the Forge of Spells and the prosperity this power brings. I dare say Neverwinter will soon have a new rival for the title of Jewel of the North. Wave Echo Cage. Gnomes and Dwarves. Cool. Is it 0% or 100% horny? I mean, you're really putting me on the spot here. Did they decide that they weren't... Are we, like, no longer fighting the people here? Or is that's the goblin warrior who I... convinced I was okay, I think. But we killed all the people at the front. Hmm. Household prayer. Lathander to light, Salune to guide, Kalimvor to judge, and passage provide. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. How do we get to the cellar? I'm just assuming that the goblins won't attack me, which like might be true. Looks empty. Hello. Keep your paws to yourself, and I won't cut them off. Very good. Yep, we seem to be friends. Uh <laughs> Oh god, the camera! <laughs> I feel like I'm losing so much experience not killing these. Come on, got me here. 
I don't see a cellar entrance. A bear? There's nothing under this. I'm in the wrong place. Weird. Because the quest is clearly here. Oh, I am so blind. Okay. The quest marker was literally exactly where I needed to go. Alright. Alright. Very good. What's it saying? Search the cellar. Investigate the cellar. We found the cellar mentioned by the journal. Time to have a look around. I'm rich. I'm richer. I'm richer. Cool. There is a potion of healing. There's a potion of healing recipe. of poison resistance. A suspicious poison. That's curious. Oh. Oh shit. Patient Samson. Occupation. Blacksmith. Malady. Gout. Comments. Samson's become accustomed to the good life since he acquired that new apprentice. I gave him a tincture of autumn crocus and told him to avoid red meat and ale. Patient Branley, Occupation Cooper, Melody, Large Wood Splinter in Hand, Comments Splinter Removed, Wound Cleaned, Doused in Balsam Ointment, and Bandaged. Patient Timic, Occupation None, Child, Melody, Swallowed Bottled Cork, Comments No Hardness or Blockage in the Stomach, The Cork Should Pass Without Causing Harm. I gave the lad a stern warning. Patient Dida, Occupation Apprentice Blacksmith, Melody, Minor Burns to the Face and Hands, Comments Another Burn from Sansom's Eager Young Apprentice. The usual treatment was applied, but I urged her to slow her pace at work before she inflicts real harm upon herself. Very good. Elixir of the Colossus. Ooh. Okay. That seems like it would go to Lazel. Did I drink... Too much. Oh. Did it break? I think it hit Shadow Heart and broke. Shadow Heart, you've ruined everything. I can just walk through, we're good. Okay, what's this? <gasps> Where am I? What's Sneaking way? seems like a good idea. A is for Azuth and other gods. Survival failed, survival failed. Anybody else? Hmm. What's what that? Is that? <gasps> it's the thing! It's the treasure! Can I open it now? No? Scroll of blindness, scroll of magic. That's it? Are you kidding me? 
Ow. Agile Guardian. Alright. <laughs> oh my god! We're surrounded by undead! Well then. I don't know where it's going. I am guessing that the other ones might also have undead in them. So we came in from here. This, I guess, goes into a different building. Oh. Oh, that looks... That looks fancy. I don't know what that is. I'm just wondering if I want to use Blast. I guess so. What did I expect, really? How oh, I thought it would be fine. Also, it's been such a long time since, like, fighting happened that... I feel like it's easy to forget that it never happened. I see. They're waking up more friends. I have the steel forged sword now. I want to move somebody else into contact with this so I can get sneak attack on it. These boots have seen everything. Then I want to bring you over with a sneak attack. Excellent. Oh, I'm buffed. I'm happy from drinking blood. Good hit. It's on one HP. Everybody deal one damage to something. I had my familiar. Can't even catch my breath. Oh, it doesn't get to move yet. It's too bad. It was a nice, a nice try. This is 70%. This is 60%. Alright, we'll use the charge. And if we charge, I think I have the pummel strike available as well. Ooh. Oh. Should I have raged first? I guess so. I forgot this was a barbarian, though. How many rage chargers do I have? Two. Rage chargers once for long rest. Uh, so I don't have tons of rage chargers. Is this a consequential enough fight? Probably. All right, let's rage. Hopefully it counts the attack that I did on an enemy this turn as like being an attack. I dual cast into barb, correct. I didn't cast armor. Agile Guardian is about to damage. Nope. Stop this. It feels like... A reasonable spiritual weapon moment. It 
feel like bludgeoning stuff is pretty good against undead usually. to be flying. Can I push? That's upsetting. <laughs> that would have been great. Man, what if the AI does that to you? Just have to be a little bit careful. Vampire Bite. 4 to 16 healing. Suck the blood from a living creature or gain hit points. The target takes 2 to 8 piercing damage, but not if it is sleeping or if you are hiding. Until long rest. You are happy. Plus 1 to attack rolls. Saving throws and most ability checks. Until long rest. They are bloodless. It's a bonus action? That's broken as all hell. Time to strike. I am playing a wizard. It doesn't have to be a melee attack to keep rage No time to waste Survival is all that matters Best be on Vampire does a lot of damage Yes, it does. Torment. Okay. What you got for me? Yep, that's fair. Arrow of Ilmatar. Yeah, Starion's just absolutely mind-blowingly broken. That not work. Can I regain hit points for one turn? It didn't work because I can't regain hit points for one turn. Oh shit. <laughs> well, that's concerning. <laughs> um, and I failed my first death save. All right. All right. All right, I'm sure we'll be fine. Did you not move or what? Oh, there you It up. Swift and lethal. <laughs> There's blood in the air.
flourish. Possibly throw your enemy off balance. Off balance? Disadvantage on strength and dex checks and attack rolls against it have advantage. Nah, I just hit it for slightly more, I think. Victory awaits. I'm going to short rest after this, probably. So might as well use action search. Wait, shove is a bonus action? Didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit much to be able to shove as a bonus action, I think. spot you got up there. Sure would be a shame. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, we missed. It's bad. I didn't realize that the arrow only lasted one turn. I guess, moment. in retrospect, Can't it would be pretty broken death. if it lasted longer than that. I will the thing is, I was thinking about what it was like when you used it on an enemy, not about what it was like when it was used on you. One to six. I can use this and animal, maybe. Oh, I'll just roll a six. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go here, here, and we have sneak attack. Do I have anyone else who can deal any damage? What's the gun? Not in particular. Uh, pommel strike? Found it. It's knocked out. Will disappear permanently after a long rest. Okay. Well then, suddenly there were skeletons. That was fun. Swift as my feet can carry me. There's an enemy on the minimap right there. Oh, it's here. Okay. Can I finish killing it? Are you kidding? Did I just deal 26 damage? Attack roll 20, critical. Damage roll 14, 2d8 bludgeoning. Wow. Uh, are long bows better than short bows? Short bows 4 to 9. Longbow is 4 to 11. 18 range. Seems just better. Assuming I have proficiency for it. Yeah, it seems just better. Cool.
Azuth, the god of wizards all who spend their low lives learning, he grants their spells both big and small, for Mistra always yearning. Bane the tyrant, sorry, Bane the tyrant, the black hand, makes sure the strong do rule. He spreads his darkness through the land, praised by the harsh and cruel. Beshaba will bring forth your doom, unless you chant her prayer. Split from Timora in the womb, she brings bad luck and despair. I'll be honest, I didn't really like read any of them. Like I said it out loud, but I'm not sure that any of the information entered my mind. Six, Nidal. 1371. DR. I pay no service to the gods, but by some blessing this village believes me and my apprentice to be simple healers. My tattoos are hidden, my red robes locked away, and my lab secured. I have not heard the word Thay since we arrived, and only my apprentice knows me as Ilan Toth. This place is not ideal for my research, but I can never return home, not the way I escaped. I'd be put to death with worse to follow. The work here is simple. It allows me to continue my research at night, but progress is slow. Reanimation seems easy, but restoring life? That prize eludes me. The tome contains the magic I need, but it fights me at every step, as does my apprentice. At least my familiar has made it easy to secure bodies without raising suspicion. This will take time. Will the Zolkers find me before I can bring her back? I cannot say. But if they do come for me, they'll have to face the guardians I've raised. Sure. Okay. So there's a necromancer. Is... Girlfriend or wife or daughter or somebody is dead. He? He was a necromancer. Uh, and there is a book that has the secret to revivification somewhere. Revivification. How much farther can I go? Presumably up here. You died on the beach five times after starting the game. Yikes. It's <laughs> a lot of times. What are the consequences for death? Uh, not being Just alive not anymore. If you total party life, you can reload. Oh shit. I knew this was gonna A be wild. Mirror. You've read all about them, but never seen one up close before. I'm a jack human man. <laughs> um if one of your characters dies who isn't you, you can revive them at camp or use a scroll of revival. Repeat the name from the book you're you in. Fair enough. It's a good if point. Ally, step forward and declare it. Only a true ally of Illentoth may pass. What okay. think you of the Zolki known as Zastan? Probably... You recognize the name, of course. Anyone that knows of the Red Wizards would. Zastan is a powerful lich okay. that rules the land of Thay. He drove many Red Wizards out of their ancestral home. So we don't like him. Not as all care. He rules as high regent now. What the fuck? Um. What the fuck? 
<laughs> How did it make a thing that will kill me, but not um, enter turn-based mode? <laughs> You will be purged. Yes, Rob. God's going great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's try dashing. I like press jump, I guess. Where's the dash? They're putting go-kart tracks on the top of boats. Man. Step quick. I mean, it's hard to see all the pollution that they make because they just put it in the water. So they must be okay. Eager for battle. I must keep going. It does seem very in character that I would use the wizard uh, dialogue option and immediately get the party wiped. Alright, seems to have lost me, maybe? This way. We'll just stand over here and watch it. Alright, what now? Maybe take a short rest. These things have stayed interesting. Eager for battle. Uh oh. So, what if we send Astarian and someone else to go kill the mirror, maybe? Or you could just leave. They can't follow me forever, can they? What now? Ah, my friend. I am ready. No harm in talking. Have a look on my mind. Um, well, in it. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Just ate a banana, nice. Mm. skeletons still. <laughs> and they're on fire. Probably three more actually. Hmm. I need to run to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
Switch shot. Hello. Now what do I do? Let's go have a rest and come back. Actually, in combat, by the way. I don't actually know if I'm in combat. Stuff seems to have stopped moving. Done? All right. Um, oh, off we go then. Look at that button real quick. And let's go back again. Dead. Okay. Good job. Ready or not. Let's get to the shadows. Hey, I'm playing a stealth archer. Step carefully. Just like in every other game like this ever. And I got another arrow, nice. The red condition is something ate my blood. So I'm gonna quiz it. I'm familiar with the form of a quiz it that can turn invisible and scare enemy. Cool. So, should we just go say hi again? Maybe somebody else should say hi to it, yeah? <laughs> Does this work? You are not my master. True. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. That's me. Only a true ally of Illentor. You always pronounced it Quasit? Mm. What think you of the Zalki known as Zastam? You remember stories of Zastam? A powerful lich in Thay who made deals with dark gods. Man. I still don't... I mean, we must not like him because we had to leave the city. You are no soldier, but are you wise? Tell me. Why oh fuck! Wait, we know this. We read the the log. Uh, I read a doctor's journal. He used. Oh, I don't even have to remember. It just tells me. Acceptable. Finally. That if you one. could see anything in me, what would it be? Uh. Oh shit. <sighs> Why wouldn't I see the, the like, the she person who I'm trying to resurrect? 
See my home? We. God, fuck! You will be <laughs> oh my god. Still in shadow. Shouldn't linger. Can't afford to stay idle. Out of sight, out of mind. Let's go, team! I took a lot less damage from it this time. Alright, who's up next? Oh, they... I guess I left. Shadowheart, wanna give it a go? <laughs> That's me. And declare it. Only a true ally of Illentroth may pass. What think you of the Zalkir known as Zastan? You are no Zalkir. But are you wise? Tell me. Why might one use balsam ointment? Acceptable. Okay. Finally. If you could see anything in me, what would it be? Oh. So the options are weak, or vengeance, or all-powerful. I'm going to go for all-powerful. Wait, no. Because with the other person, number two was... Hmm. I mean, this seems true for this character. You Maybe we're just... To survive. Yeah. You seek power. Yeah. Be That's me. Welcome. Yeah. Hell yeah. Don't mind me. Hmm. Anybody want to like turn the lights well, on? Oh, okay. laboratory. What were they hiding down here? You can't believe I'm save scumming. That wasn't save scumming. Get out of here. Breathe deep and move. How dare you? The necromancy of Thay! With spider silk cocoon. Hmm. Is this a mirror dating sim? It is. You turn page after page filled with strange alchemical sketches and formulae. Some are written plainly and some in runes and scripts you barely recognize. There are guides to transmutating metals and recipes for weapons of war, but more than anything else, the book is concerned with reanimating dead flesh. The book is filled with pages and pages of observations, tracking travelers and people in the village. You turn to the final pages. Oliver Singe, Merchant, Stranger, not Thane. Three men in black armor. 
not Thean. Journeyman, not Thean. Raid, Black Armored Soldiers, some damage not Thean, but dangerous. The book's key gem has gone missing. Familiar order to watch my apprentice. Singe passes through, doesn't stop. Familiar reports apprentice disappeared near well. Will observe. Oh, the apprentice is the one that was trying to be a spider. That's very funny. Same soldiers as before. Townsfolk taken. Smoke on horizon raid. Yes, there was. Hmm. Interesting decorating choices. Ray's dead. Failed. Gone too long. Body decomposed. Failed. Came back as ghoul. Had to kill again. Speak with dead. Failed. Answers unhelpful. Clone. Failed. Needs living tissue. Reanimation plus clone. Failed. Had to kill both ghouls. Resurrection failed. Why? Magical curse? True resurrection. I have reached the limit of my skills and resources. The book offers help. Dare I accept? What are we going to find out that you did, friend? Sleep, protection from good and evil, feather fall, fiend, death. One of the problems with playing a game like this. A young cave bear killed and stuffed. You monster. Its teeth were fully grown. A young cave bear killed Jeez. and stuffed before its teeth were fully grown. How dare you kill a, a baby cave bear? Um. Been in there? I don't know. My characters sound disgusted by this, so I'm assuming that I meant to also be disgusted by it. Rust. Wish I had a bag of holding. We don't know the necromancer didn't succeed. Don't waste a step. Fringe philosophy. The publisher's note claims this volume promotes magical theory too radical for the mainstream. This excerpt is attributed to High Artificer Thora Bren of Baldur's Gate. I suppose they seek to silence me, believing that an artificer of the High House would not stoop to publish in any volume outside the great Gondian journals they so diligently dar gar guard. But they forget that I am not so grand. Before I lent my name and my knowledge to the High House of Wonders and all the marvels therein, I was naught but a lazy farm girl who liked to look up. And that was how I first saw them. The slow and serene earth motes, entire mountains migrating through the sky above. It was later I learned of their origins, of the ancient Netherese empire that fashioned them, of the residual magic so potent it sustained them still. The wizards of Netheril carved marvels out of the mundane, lifted the earth aloft for industry, for sport. It was later still, after I earned my place at the High House, that I learned of the long shadow Netheril cast along the evolution of our craft. That their great flying cities fell in folly and flames does not diminish the wonders they wrought, and the stubborn aversion to studying them, to learning what they learned, is the very antithesis of Gon's teaching. Yes, many of the catastrophes inflicted upon the centuries were fruit born of meddling with Netherese seed. Yes, their last shining bastion fell into shadow their lore twisted to Shar's dark and destructive designs. And yes, I say again, whether the High House will sanction it or no, to study the very flame of creation is worth it, even should the fires consume us. And how do you pick it up? I did it, yeah. All right, uh, there's an antidote. Ah! There's a gilded chest. There's the evil eye. This dude has so many fun books. 
While the number of trinkets and bargains a hag personally acquires means that her powers will be unique compared to that of her sisters, hags as a whole can still be divided into three subcategories. Night hags, named as such for their ability to haunt mortals' dreams, slowly devouring vital essence until the victim's soul can be trapped into the hag's soul bag. They are known for being petty, selfish braggarts. Sea hags, known for devouring their victim's whole, sea hags can terrorize and kill with a single look. They reek of fish and are incapable of making a proper cup of tea. Green hags, they are beautiful, they are powerful, speak not a word against them. Were you a green hag? Were you uh, in love with a green hag? Braces of defense, you gain plus two AC, as long as you're not wearing armor or holding a shield. Yo. 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 Man. Doesn't quite work. Also, Lazel? <laughs> That's all you wear under the armor, huh? <laughs> Alright. Okay. I see. Consider me intrigued. An excerpt from the ongoing metatext Rebound by Josefa Elk, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the metatext, her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Of what value is life? Far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely, or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider, we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that best befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Oh my god, I want to, like, strangle this person. <laughs> Reading this book makes me want to commit murder in, in the game. <clears throat> in the game. Lord Kelimvor, weighing over our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternate route. Not the end of the path, but the chance to retread it. Clerics across the realms wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough. The components for such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have interviewed those who have made such a return, and in truth have found them to be of the most dull and unimaginative sort that I can possibly imagine what it is they were so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps one day this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path and wealthy enough to return. All right. This dude was very into resurrection. Now we're going to go in here and find out what this is all about. Libertarian cleric. Imagine using any character other than this one. Like, how many numbers did I just roll? Um, Traps. How considerate. Traps. How considerate. Yup. Close. Close, but we did okay in the end. Alright, uh, shall we read a book? Marble Plate Disarm. 
did it. Let's read a book. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more oh those my. piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You've seen similar books in wizards' libraries. A tome on Thayan magic. A rare and expensive find. He's gonna People make have gone out mad book. reading less dangerous texts. Mm. A cursed book. How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. I Kids, sure do. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? <laughs> um, tuck the book into your pack. All right. Well, that's exciting. I'm sure that won't have consequences later. Um, is there like a, another way out, or do I have to go all the way back around? Feels like there would be a lever there. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Where am I, by the way? Oh, I remember this place. Okay. Sure. Back to the Blighted Village, where everybody loves me. Whoa. I really do feel like I'm losing a lot of experience that I could be getting by not killing all of this. Uh, shall I? What is what? What is that? Big spooter. Oh, it's downstairs then. <sighs> I mean, it would make sense to just go here. I guess we actually do that from here though. Just go this way. I've kind of gone the wrong way. All right, well, let's teleport back here. You've never liked D&D. Can I have sex with the bear already? That's all you're here for? Understandable. Do I just, like, I'm not allowed in anymore? Oh. We go this way, and we turn left, and we go that way. All right. Weird how they made bestiality a selling point of the game. I think it was deliberate. They had a romance dialogue that they showed off, and the crowd chose to have sex with the bear, is my understanding. So if I go over this way? Although the game implies I'm not allowed to do that. But I mean, who cares? Now where am I? Here? And we go there. Does this... This just puts me back where I was. 
Okay. Okay. Well, never mind. In fact, I even have to take damage. Not over here. Yep, I've already been there too. Man. I'm a little bit scared that at some point these are all going to attack me, but I guess they're leaving me alone. Alright, well if they're leaving me alone, maybe we're good. We'll go this way. Hot bar assignment. Drag its icon from your inventory to the desired location. Sure. I feel like I'm going the wrong way still. Oh, shit's on fire. What's all this? Find the night song. Ask the goblin priestess for help. Okay. Reach the goblin camp. Saza. Wait, this is the Blade of Frontiers. Oh, I should probably bring my dude with me on that one. Dash all. Is that here but it doesn't have anything in it that doesn't even make any sense this bridge looks very intimidating doesn't it oh is that that's Saza all right all right we're good we know Saza hi Saza come on I'll tell the gods what's what all right this cannot possibly go badly. Everything's on fire. I have minus one charisma. They have a war drum. I'm at half health. Yeah, this is maybe not a great idea. I know something will want to hear. Yeah? What's that? I've been in some druid's grove. This one's spring me. Now move over so I can tell Regslin myself. Hold on. Where are the Raiders? Dead. Every last one. Ragslin's drow friend won't be happy to hear that. She'll be happy enough when I tell her where them Lugas is holding up. Let me through. Hold on now. Is it true what Saz says? You helped her escape that grove? Ah, uh, yes. I don't believe in keeping prisoners. <clears throat> then behave while you're inside. Our people don't mind it one bit. Wonderful. That's enough out of you. You know, goblins Come are very reasonable in this let game. Know where them looters is. We'll be heroes. Whoop. Hear my voice. Obey my command. The voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. 
nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. Oh. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. Oh. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the weapon. And you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my presence. The visions fade and the voice falters as a strange energy swells around you. The many-sided artifact. Somehow you understand it's repelling the presence. <gasps> Happened. No answer presents itself. The artifact is dormant. The voice and visions are gone. I, I mean, that seems normal. I would maybe see a doctor, but I'm American, so... It's Volo! <laughs> Reduce them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you to land. Fragulous Goliath. Come on, you turnip! <laughs> <laughs> Journal updated rescue holo. Mm. Or I could yes. not. You look like you've got something jingling in your pocket. Looking to spend it. Quite the true of how'd you get your hands on Mixed all this? The dead, didn't I? Oh well done. Fair game. <laughs> Jump distance is increased. Ooh, acrobatics plus one as well. I had armor plus two. Is that? The plus one bonus to deck saving throws and checks gives a plus one bonus to initiative no rolls. Reckon it can fly? No. Look at the indie stuff real quick. So, hide armor starts at 12 base. So, hide armor plus two is just like, um. Alright, where's your armor? Scale mail. Scale mail starts at 14. Hide armor starts at. It don't feel right messing with it is all. Scale mail does give disadvantage on stealth checks though, and hide armor doesn't. 
What armor is a Starion wearing? Padded light armor. I could use some better armor. Do you have the ability to wear hide armor? How do I find that out in this interface? I don't fancy chasing this thing. It looks right peeved. Is it even a bump? It's got a beak like any other chicken, don't it? Vision with light armor. Okay, I guess not. Who likes medium armor? You want to be unarmored eventually. armor medium armor and shields okay cool some dies amulet of ele elemental torment when the wearer stands on certain surfaces and casts a spell that deals damage the target also suffers the surfaces effect that's kind of cool proficiency with longbows and shortbows and plus two damage there are some very good items in this game Just a babe. It don't feel right messing with it is all. Oh, shut it. What kind of coward won't okay. chase a baby? We playing. When the wearer heals a target, it gains an additional three temporary hit points. Those are also very everything's so good. I don't have enough money. When you heal a creature, you gain a plus one D for a bonus to attack rolls and saving throws for two turns. Great sword plus one? Just a plus one weapon? Also, I suspect that that's a better... I have a long sword that's versatile. Yeah, it's a much better weapon. Longbow plus one, returning pike. This weapon will return to its owner when thrown. It looks right Is it even a bump? It's got a beak like any other chicken, don't it? It's just bloody bloody. War pick plus one, a great club plus one. All right. So we're getting to the point in the game where we find better things, I guess. These aren't ever consumed, are they? No. The tools break on an unsuccessful check. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I have so much garbage that I don't want. What kind of coward won't even chase a baby? We playing or what? The Oak Father's Embrace. I may have forgotten to put this on when I fought Undead. A little bit. Whoops. Actually, honestly, I'm never going to use this, am I? I could keep it because it's pretty. Maybe. Curtis, do you just like every day you have to come in and shit on the game that we're playing? <laughs> Why? know you're installing the game. Fair enough. I'm keeping my dark mind, I've decided. I'm keeping rope, because I assume at some point we'll need rope. I'm keeping all of this shit.
Oh, so many weapons. So many weapons I don't need. Trap disarm toolkit. And that to Astarian. Suspicious poison. Basic poison. Ya base. So I have 759 to work with. I think there was another trader. Get moving. I've got other customers. Uh, I'm wrong. There was not another trader. Alright, well, I would definitely like the plus one weapon for Lazel. And I don't know about other stuff. Probably a plus one longbow is pretty good. I mean, how bad can it possibly be to buy a plus one longbow? This goes to you, this goes to you, and let's equip them. Done. We're getting stronger! Oh my god, your sword is so big. I am so happy for you. You know she loves that, right? Like... There is no chance that she does not love that. All right, what do we do here? We are meant to... I don't remember. Shall we talk to Booyog? Waypoint discovered. Cool. Slightly drunk. Oh. Yes. Also, dead adventurer. And he lifts up this mice with his other arm. So I stuck my dagger in that arm. No more problems with that one after that. Okay. A disgusting waste of stonecraft. I ain't paid to talk. Keep walking. Ooh. That everyone's just slightly drunk. So I'm looking at this. Oh, that just is Goblin King. Yeah. I don't understand where I'm meant to go. Priestess got Sazavolu, saved the Goblin. Sa I, mean, I guess I'm meant to go there. Okay. Can I go there? Oh, okay. I thought that was like a guard, but apparently. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi, so much fun! That those thieves almost got past! Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Oh, well, thanks, Pinfoldor. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Uh, not your usual haunt, I take it. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Fair enough. No party in here. Shut it, Graw. Olak cleared us. Got a visitor for the drow, I do. My ass. What's a true soul? What with any mate of yours? Private business, that is. Raiding business. But if anyone wants a piss pot guarded, we'll call. Just get your friend branded proper. Right, Sazza? Got better things to do than. No, you don't. Come on, then. Bloody racket. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi. Saza, we are going very deep into a goblin town surrounded by like a hundred goblins. Hear the absolute mm. voice? Smells like Do you burnt feel flesh. her inside you? I only hear her through you, priestess. That's because she chose me. 
I don't know if I want to be here. Cool. Oh, it's only a smaller giant spider. Dead mind flare? What the fuck? I'm in danger. Scrying eye sees invisibility. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> holy shit, I am not... I am not ready to be in this place. All right, well, let's go talk to this person. How bad can it be? Now, here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you, too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Uh, I assume this mark has a purpose. Shows our devotion to the absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon, and you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Okay. Oh, everybody dislikes me doing this. That's kind of understandable. I also dislike me Hold doing this. Still. On my As pain hand? models your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She too carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving Ooh. instruction from a handsome young man. One of the chosen. Okay. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there. Thank you, Pentel Digging Dark. around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. I do kind of like her. She's very no nonsense. There's a creature inside my head. Can a you help creature? with that? There's definitely something rotten in there. Let me take a closer <laughs> look. I ain't seen anything like this before. Um. I'm pretty sure you're infected I, too. Ain't nothing wrong with me. You're the one who's sick in the head. No okay. need to panic though. With the absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi, priestess, we want because. the mark. Yeah. Why do they think they're talking Aren't to a god? Aren't we good enough for the absolute? I see a traitor on the map. Roa Moonglow. That the jingle of coin I hear? Who are you? You've timed it well, what are you friend. doing here? Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. Half right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader. Just a matter of what's for sale. Okay. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. Oh. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you? Works for me. Ringmail plus one. I think I'm using heavy armor. 
Chain shirt plus one, no. Hide armor plus one, no. Padded armor plus one. This would go on a Starion. A bit expensive. Rapier plus one is probably real good. Hunter's Dagger. This would be a better offhand weapon for a Starion on a hit. Target must see the DC 13 or become ruptured. Take piercing damage when moving. Doom Hammer. Bow of Aware. That's actually a better bow for Starion, I think, with Assassin. I don't think I'm going to buy more plus one weapons right now, though. Feels like my money is a little limited. Pleasure. So, I ain't waiting go. around. Ready to clear your head. Yup. Exactly, what you're gonna do. The absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Encouraging. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Oh my. Oh my. Most would think us mad for wandering right into the middle of a goblin war clan. Oh my. I suppose that goes to demonstrate just how desperate we are. Something strange happened. That artifact you carry seemed to just come I to know. me. I felt it. You felt it fly yes. away from you? No. Hmm. I don't know. The artifact seems to have powers. And a will of its own. It protects us. I don't know how or why, but I'm glad. I felt it go from me to you. You need its help, just as it needs us. It's still just a box, after all. Suppose you want it back? Might not be possible. It's stubborn that way. Prone to lashing out. Keep it for now. We can all help to protect it. Okay. Shah's blessings upon you. You have to leave. If you're sure. As you like. Perhaps I'll see you at camp. Aw. Looks sad. Ah. Drink it in. That sweet, sweet chaos. <laughs> Not that I approve of goblins, of course, filthy little beasts, but I do like a good den of debauchery. Uh, I don't... I'm hungry. Like, IRL. And I kind of want to do this big thing. Before I eat. Fine, I'll do the dialogue. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire the Cesar? Isn't that that the Zar one family. person? Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. Maybe. But now, I've been conveniently lost. Nice. They won't ever control me again. Same. It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free and a true vampire. In theory? People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, 
it doesn't happen. I've already apologized. <laughs> what more do you want? Unless you're looking for another <laughs> Maybe later. I need to know how we'll field you. How we'll feed you no in the future. Instance. You have hmm. my word. Only villains that we need to kill anyway. After all, you know what I am now. I can fight with all my weapons. Teeth. Included. Wonderful. And if I happen to drain the occasional bandit during a fight, what's the harm? They're just as dead. Sounds good. Glad we could agree. As am I. I'm starting to feel a little peckish already. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Well, you know where to find me. Chuck. Goblins. Not a shred of dignity to be found among them. Uh, wait for me in... Chuck. You believe you can survive without me? Yep. As you say, do not keep me waiting. Alright. Ready to clear your head? Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute. And I'll do the rest. Don't want anyone peeping on private matters. So. There we go. Secret and safe. Well, secret. Psionic feelers creep across your mind like a pickpocket's fingers. I'm very confident that this will work out well. Uh, allow her to rummage through your memory. First, she sees the mind flare holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye. And then the vision lurches. And you are looking through her eyes as a tadpole squirms into her skull. Helps! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. Uh, one of those things inside you no. too, you know. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing oh, no. things, probably hearing voices oh, no. too. Yeah. Don't you worry. I've got everything. I really to fix you. trust this goblin messy, who I met today to perform brain surgery on me. I just think it'll go well. It involves you putting your trust in the absolute. <laughs> Simple. I mean, you won't how bad could this, this be? Being a true if soul, I don't game over here, I'll be sorely disappointed. Don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It will purify you. Oh wait, you're you not like nice telltale flecks of werejackal blood. Shop. Oh. It's a of sleep. And then you'll cut my brain open. Nobody. I'm trying to help. Hmm. I mean, the game gives you so many opportunities to attack her. Like so many. I mean... Alright, sure, let's find out what happens. It's a video game. Whoop! Sweet dreams. I'll see your ugly mug on the other side. She called me ugly. Wakey, wakey. Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, I'm in jail. The Absolute wants to know all about that critter in your head. So start talking. Okay. I mean, honestly... 
this is better for us than I was expecting. I thought I'd wake up with my brain hanging out of my skull. <laughs> I was abducted and a mind flare infected me with this thing. That much. I saw yep. the whole horrible story in your memories. And I know what happens next. Your teeth fall out, your skin rips off, and you turn into one of them. Ah, uh, you're infected. The same thing will happen Lies. to you. I'm stronger than ever, and I've got <sighs> true soul gut. You just yeah, don't understand. You're on your own. Nothing more than a skin suit for that monster inside you. You're gonna be my new pet. A ferocious squiddy. All Wait. for myself. It got horny again. Test the weight of the chains. Looking for weak points. Dislocate your wrist and struggle free. I'm going to preserve my strength. I don't think I even succeed on those rolls, to be honest. Open your papers, freak. It's time. You should be sprouting tentacles by now. But you're still the same kind of ugly you always was. Disappointing not to have my own squiddy. But your giblets will make for a tasty supper. <gasps> Sorry. I may have left that a little late. No lasting damage, I hope. Um, hi. It's my master, you should thank. When you got yourself in this predicament, he sent me to help. Oh, it's the DM. You'll meet him soon and have a chance to show your gratitude. <laughs> this is exactly how I play Dungeons and Dragons, and the DM has to come up with increasingly in ridiculous meantime, reasons why I don't killed. die. I won't always be watching. Okay. Where am I? Absolute's War Board. Greater Healing. Rancid Nope. That slobber chops druid who's nosing around ain't just some tomb robin adventure type. He calls himself Helson, ugly name for an ugly bastard. I had a little word or two with him before the lashers put his hairy arse in the pens. Said he thinks there's something rotten inside us, inside me. I reckon he's gonna help get rid of the rot. I told him we don't need any help from nobody. Never did, and especially not now the Absolute's taken a shrine to us. He says there'll be something rotten inside him soon enough. There's a lot of rancid meat down in the pens. When we cut him open, we'll make sure he stays alive long enough. For the maggots to make a nest of him. Mind flayer parasite specimen. Did I get that out of her brain, maybe? Maybe. Alright. Um Oh my god, you're also dead. Okay. This calls for careful footwork. Something good here, I hope. Oh, you don't have a bunch of stuff now. Who the hell's does she serve? An open letter on oppression and peacocks. Written in a furious sloping hand, this is a letter to the editor of Baldur's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Dear Editor, 
I find it despicable, nay diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry? How archaic! My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet, and yet to spend time with my child I must visit my summer home in Cormer. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue. Immediately, the emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake, and I shall take this to the highest of authorities should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Giselle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from their parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard lives with himself. Yours faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. Normal. Aural Histories of Faerun. The book is comprised of several chapters, one for each cited its source. It claims to contain first-hand transcriptions of the oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. Cool. Chapter 25. Cornelius and Tumelius Worthy Wart, halfling, halflings encountered on the Golden Road south of Innerleth. I met the brothers, or rather they found me, in the lower pass through the Fireshear Mountains. They had encountered a trail of golden discs along the path and had resolved to gather and turn them to whatever fool had more coin than common sense. It was to our mutual embarrassment, then, that I removed my cloak to reveal my patchwork yellow hide. It was molting season, I explained, and a travel on the road had not the luxury to shed their scales in private as would be proper. I suspect they knew too little of Dragonborn to be appropriately disgusted, and instead invited me to sup with them. Over a roadside fire, I learned of the purpose behind their journey. Cornelius. Lurian, my lad, our ancestral home. It was lost during the spell plague. Weren't nothing lost, Con? It's not Nan's lucky Nashes, is it? It sank. Wasn't I there when the blue fire took it? Sure, what do you remember? You were knee-high to a gnome. I remember you crying. Maybe it was you that sank that place. Going big to finish the job. No, I just can't read this anymore. Too much, not enough food. Too much reading and different voices. Watch that lip lest I fatten it. Only a fool speaks ill of his homeland. Their brows are bristling dangerously. And so I diverted hostilities by speaking of my own people's ancestral home, the blighted world of Abir, and the thousand-year tyranny of dragons we lived under, until the blue fire of the spell plague brought us to this world. Right. Ah. Another potato. There's always time for another potato. I've already read this one. Oral histories, gif and mind flares. Calidor the Swift, 700 years of age, wood elf storyteller. Dig me several ten days of quiet habitation in the wood before the venerable Palador felt comfortable revealing his presence to me. The longer I stayed demonstrating I was no threat to his health and peace, the more open he was to gentle inquiry. This tale relayed to me on a chilly morning as we stoked a small fire between us was like none I had heard before or since. Asked if it were fiction, and he insisted emphatically it was as true as his own right eye. Long ago, before my eyes and ears, before your lonesome quill, dear scribe, there was an empire of people, or perhaps only belief, an empire of brain eaters, soul wasters, who called themselves illithids, the flayers of minds. The children of Gith were bowed, bent in service to the flayers, a passionate people made to serve a cold belief. The flares were untouchable, their minds a great oppressor. No proud will or passion could break Gith's children free. Until at last a reckoning, its source unknown, its power unproven, but its events history-making. The cowed would not be cracked. Gith's children fought back valiantly. Their freedom theirs, the flares bent and broken till today. Well, that one... How do I, um... Escape. Wait, do people like know that I'm a criminal or whatever? They might not know. I guess this area is open for me to do whatever in. Can I get my people back? I'm gonna be able to get my people back now. Misty stuff. Um, that seems very good for a Starian. All right, I am going to get food because my stomach is grumbling. I'm going to go to camp. 
<laughs> uh, get my people back. Gale appears to be ill. Arcane hunger. Holy shit. Get my people back. And then next time we can work out what comes next. Check out the temple a bit more. Thanks for watching today.